today we're going to have a quick talk about the Airborger Miller machine. Not the actual Miller machine itself, uh, we'll probably do that on a, on a separate video at some point. But this one's about the tooling um, and the Airborger doesn't use a drawbar like most Miller machines do. Uh, so I'm going to show you what it actually uses to hold any tooling into the, uh, the three Morse taper. And also I'm just going to show you a little adapter that I've made so I can use a lot more tooling on it uh, without having to buy expensive specialised tooling. So let's get on with that now and we'll show you. Okay, you're not uh, familiar with a, an Airborger milling machine. Most common, most common milling machines, they have a, a drawbar which comes through from the top, which locates in the thread at the back of the tooling, which holds the tooling in, in position into the into the taper. The Airborger, because of its compact head, they've actually come up with their, their own uh, idea, which basically works with a little finger plate like this, which slots into the, the groove at the bottom of the, the taper. That then goes into the head of the machine. And you have this ring, there's a thread on here. The ring goes over, tightens onto the, the thread, which then pushes onto this plate, and that's what holds it into the headstock. Which is great. The only trouble is, any time you want any tooling, you've basically got to buy the tooling, or you struggle. So, what I came up with is this idea. I have a lot of tooling, which is two more taper, which fits, fits my layers. But obviously, too small to fit in there. So, you think straight away, fine. Put a two to three sleeve on with a tang. That works okay. Locates. Your finger plate fits on but then the problem is is when you then tighten that it basically ejects that sleeve and the tooling will just drop out so what i came up with is this idea now these sleeves are an open sleeve for draw bears you can get them from places like idg tools uh, out euro trade anywhere like that <coughs> excuse me you bob on which then leaves you with an open end and what we made was this extended tang with the drawbar thread on, so that then screws into the end there. Obviously, tighten down with a spanner, which then pulls the, the sleeve onto the to the two more tape with locking that in. Gives us the appropriate length for the extraction later. So this goes back in the machine again. A little finger plate goes across. Comes up, screws on as normal, you tighten it down with the proper spanner and everything. That locates it, safe as houses, can't go anywhere. Again, once you've finished, you just unscrew, take your finger plate out, and they, they have an ejector system on the side here, and that just bobs it out. And then one of the main things is with this. Is for in the future how the system works is this this sleeve is removable to put on any so anything in the future i, I buy i buy the two more safer version with the drawbar i can then use that on my lathe on the mill machine thus making every tool double use there we have it job done hope you found that interesting and if anybody out there's got an airborger i hope you you know you have a go at making some of this tooling I hope it helps you in the future so you can use a lot more wider variety of tooling on, on your machine which is also then usable on all the machines that we've just shown so thank you for watching youtubers uh, if you don't mind liking and subscribing to the channel it'd be fantastic and until next time it'll be great